Today, I'll be showing you step-by-step step how to draw a mixed-media penguin. Mixed-media is when you use more than one art tool. M-I-X-E-D media. In today's video, we're going to be using crayons and markers. And we're going to be drawing a penguin. P-E-N-G-U-I-N. Penguin. To start off with, we're going to start with a medium-sized circle. Not too small and not too big. About the width of your two fingers. All right, next we're going to be drawing an oval. Inside the oval, we're going to be doing a smaller oval. Next, we're going to be doing our nose. I'm going to start off with a little curved line right here like that and then make a cone. This shape here is called a cone. A triangle will look like this. Since we have a curved circle on top, that makes it a cone. This here is a cone. Next, we're going to be drawing our wings. Curve line here and a curve line there. And it connects just like so. Next, we're going to be doing our feet. We'll be doing one curve line like that and one curve line like so. And then Three tiny U's. One, two, three. Next, we're going to draw, draw the bridge of the nose. Curve line here and a curve line there. Next, we're going to do a curve line here, across to the middle, and a curve line here. And connect them. Next, we're going to be doing the eyes. How you do the eyes is up to you. I want cute, really big, googly eyes. Alright. Once you're done drawing, we're going to be outlining with markers. There are three different types of markers we have in the art room. First up, my favorite is Prane. Next, we have Crayola, which are really good for coloring just straight on the paper. And lastly, we have School Smart, which I don't see here. But we don't use them as much. Prane markers are really good for mixed media. You can mix these markers with the crayons and color pencils. You can go ahead and outline it. If your eye is black, go ahead and color in your eye.
if you want to add hats or scarves you can do that also i'm making a more realistic penguin but if you want to add clothes you are welcome to do that when we are coloring with crayons you want to use at least two layers what i mean by layers you stack up the colors so i might start with blue first penguins are not blue they are black but we start off with a base coat first and then we blend our colors together to make it look nice and shiny so cut the whole thing blue just where it's going to be black and this is known as the first layer then we'll put black on top and that is going to be the second layer Next, we have black, which will make this the second layer. The reason we're doing layers is because when you layer the crayons, it looks super shiny and waxy. Something else we'll be using is value. Value is the lightness and darkness of a color or shape. When you add shadows to artwork, it makes something look more three-dimensional. Something you can actually pick up. So with my marker, anywhere I'm going to have shadow, I'm going to take the black and just color on top of that a little bit to suggest the shadow. And then to blend it together, I'll take my blue and blend it together like so. So we'll have shadow there, a little bit of shadow here. Take my blue, blend it together. And so on. And I forgot the black. It's going to be right here. Blend it together with the blue. You don't want any of the white showing. No white showing. Next, we're going to be doing our beaks. Snowmen have yellow and orange beaks sometimes. So I'm going to outline with the orange here and color it in with a yellow marker on the top to get that beak. They also have yellow dots here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my yellow print marker and just make tiny little zigzag lines right here. Next, we're gonna get my yellow crayon. Color in just a little bit here. And then with the white crayon, we're going to blend it all together. Yeah, it's okay, you break it. Do 
to add texture, which is one of the elements of art, I'm gonna add tiny little lines to suggest the fur of the penguin. And then with my orange marker, I'm gonna color in the feet. And there's your basic penguin. Once you are done coloring your penguin, you're going to cut it out with scissors and we'll glue it to a painted paper to have a pretty background.